Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. It's Cynic Alex. And now with the latest update that released Cersei, we got some clarification about damage, especially elemental damage versus Mephisto. Now we have five types of elemental damage in the game. We've got fire, cold, lightning, mind, and poison. And we long suspected that elemental damage was being negated or sort of reduced versus null because we tested out Namor and things like that. But there were still characters like Ghost Rider and Rogue and Beta Ray Bill who are still really good with their elemental damage despite that suspicion. So they sort of cleared up the suspicion for Mephisto this time and they said at the bottom there in red, Mephisto has a higher resistance to all elements except cold. So that means fire, lightning, mind, and poison are all gonna be reduced. Now, I don't think we have any poison damage here uh, in all, all of these characters that are tier three and transcended besides uh, Shadow Shell, sorry girl. Uh, but so we don't have to worry about that. But yeah, there's really only one really good cold damage character that's tier three right now. We're maybe looking at you for the future, Iceman, but for now, we only have Luna Snow, and luckily she's a speed type, so she also gains the advantage of typing versus Mephisto. So I wanted to jump in and do sort of a Luna Snow showcase versus Mephisto, because I think she's a little bit underrated for this fight, and I think her value has actually gone up because she seems like the number one target for Mephisto. She's a speed type, and she does cold damage, which is the one that he is weak to because he's the, the Fire Lord. He's the he's not Ozai, but you know he's the he's the guy in Hell, right? The the the, the hot fiery place. So we're going to jump in here, do a few different rounds of testing. First one up with strikers is going to be Luna Snow, but with no team. We did it for Thor against Null. We're doing it for Mephisto now. So we got Ant-Man and Black Panther, two tier threes that I hope get buffed in the future, especially BP. But we're going to test it out here with these strikers. And because we're using Luna Snow's leadership, there's a chance that we're going to hear her. Yes, we're going to hear her theme song. I didn't want to cut the video. Because I wanted to uh, show you guys that, you know, if we did, did indeed get it, it was going to be, you know, not me resetting it to get it. So, yeah, you guys are going to have to put up with the song now, whether you like it or not, unless we die, which would be bad. But um, let's see if she can smash this. This is the this is the second song, actually. This isn't even Luna, Luna Snow's debut song, guys. Luna Snow has multiple songs. And you'll know she has songs if you go and look at her in the Marvel Universe tab, because the MFF music actually stops when you go there uh, and it plays her her song. But honestly, some of you guys watching the video probably only ever hear the Marvel Future Fight theme music when I play it, because I know a lot of you guys tell me, you're like, I get, I get this question a lot. Alex, how do you play the game with the sounds on? I hear you. I hear you. I just got used to it. I kind of like it, to be honest with you. Uh, this attack kind of hurts. Yeah. Okay. He's going to go into rage mode, so we're just going to back up a little bit. I actually got used to the game sounds and I actually kind of like them, to be honest, as strange as that sounds. Oh, please don't. Okay, we're going to switch here. Oh, wow. BP's really fast. I just don't want Luna to suffer anymore. And she's, she's kind of slow, right? Luna needs a little bit of help. That's why we brought along BP. BP's actually secretly amazing. Can we burst him down before he goes into the cutscene? Oh, so he's got a cutscene at 12 bars. In the second phase that we just skiggity skiggity skipped. Oh, are you kidding me? How do you feel, Mephisto? Okay, this purple attack, though, we, we got to be careful. But, um, yeah, Luna Snow has two songs. So this is actually the, the, the second song that she had released. She's a prolific artist, guys. Put some respect on my girl Luna's name. I remember back in the day, February 2018, Luna Snow was announced, and I thought it was a joke. But uh, she's actually a lot better than I could have ever thought. Than I would have ever thought. And uh, you know what? Marvel and Marvel Future Fight did it first. Because League of Legends released like five skins for characters making them like K-pop idols or whatever. Meanwhile, MFF was years ahead of them. They did that in 2020 or, you know, whatever, late 2019. We did that in 2018. Yo, she crushed it. She crushed it. She absolutely wrecked stage one. So now we're going to bring it up to stage five with a leadership and see if she can do it. Okay, so this time, sadly, we don't get the Luna Snow music, but now we are rocking the WandaVision, WandaVision leadership of 40% increased energy attack. And then we've also got the guard break. Nice. We've got the 35% uh, elemental damage from uh, uh, Storm. 
So it's not quite a Mystique or um, Valkyrie passive buff with increased damage to villains, but 35% elemental damage is not bad at all. And that's, you know, the, the full extent. Oh, we're in the next phase already. No way. Elemental damage, like Luna does like 100% elemental damage, I'm pretty sure. So she's actually going to get a lot out of Storm. It's a bit disappointing that Storm has basically been reduced to a support only, but she's actually a really good support for multiple really good top tier um, characters for World Boss Legend. We got to dodge that sort of like mini tornado attack. But here we're going to pop the tier three. Ooh, 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 Luna was just fast enough to get away from that. Okay, oh, Storm is faster, slower, I don't know. Between Storm, ooh, she got caught. Oh, she's not gone, nice. Okay. Yeah, but she's shredding this, eh? He's going to go into his cutscene here. There we go. Wow, she's shredding stage five. I mean, we went to a, up to a leadership and a support, but I did not think... Whoa, I did not think. A minute and a half. We're flying. I didn't think Storm was going to add this much. Maybe I should have just done a leadership. Luna's too good. But, you know, as even though they said elemental damage, right? They said he was resistant to the other elements... That doesn't necessarily mean that he takes damage, more damage from cold damage, right? It just means that he resists the other four more. Which is kind of a bummer for Ghost Rider and Beta and four, but um, sick for Luna. And like I said, potentially Iceman, potentially other cold damage characters. We could get some other ones as well. They're not the only ones. Oh, a little bit of trouble there. Oh, I lost control of my joystick. Cool. Oh, I'm running into his tail. Oh, that's very unfortunate. So we're probably not going to... Oh, you know what? I think we're going to be able to... Boop! Yeah, Doctor Strange comes in and subsides his rage. So you know what? There you go. Even if you are late, keep running. Never give up on your dreams. Uh, even if you're late and the rage the rage outburst finishes, don't stop running. Also here, you can be aggressive. It's not necessarily advisable, but uh, ooh. ooh, we did it again. We did it again. So sneaky. So sneaky. I'm going to pop the tier three. And finish him. Minute 45. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. She is so aggressive. So good. All right. One more try here with Luna. She's crushing it. We're going to go all the way up to stage nine. All right. Here we go. Stage nine. We've swapped out Storm. Apology, Storm, for Valkyrie. This is basically the best possible team at the moment for luna snow obviously there are better supports out there in the future like nick fury white fox misty knight lead but for now this is the best now the only thing we need to be careful of in this stage in particular because stage nine obviously mephisto's damage is through the roof now and his you know he's got much more hp he's way tankier but really the issue is the poison clouds because we've lost the tornadoes that we had on stage i think one and five but now we have the uh, poison clouds. Those can be a really big problem because you sort of get tunnel vision when you're bursting down Mephisto and you don't notice those clouds just slowly stack underneath you like they are now. And if you don't have a movement skill attack on your character, uh, you end up taking a whole bunch of damage. I actually died today for the first time with uh, Rogue because of that exactly. So we got the damage going here. I pop the tier three. Oh, I think he interrupted my tier three. He iframed. He he rarely iframes, so I'm not really used to it. Unlike unlike Null, he really doesn't iframe much, Mephisto. That is definitely one difference between the two of them. Uh, there we go. We got this attack here. I'm gonna do this. Oh. 
That's going to hurt a little bit. But the nice thing is Luna heals right through it. You see that? She heals right through it. Now we have to prepare immediately for this enrage phase. I don't want no uh, enrage buffs. No, thank you. Oh, 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 oh. She's just fast enough. We're going to switch here to force him to just go in a straight line. Because we need to um, cross his path. That was not a good management of my tier three. Yeah, that was okay. So we kind of we kind of got interrupted during the tier three, and it also wasn't good management because I was at like ninety percent to build up Luna's tier three faster. You don't want to, you know, you don't want to pop those big build up skills when she's already. Mm, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to deal with this again. Okay, we're gonna have to deal with this rage thing again. Yeah, the uh, the circle keeps spawning like right in front of him, and then right next to where he is, because <laughs> he he moves from circle to circle, from Urkel to Urkel. Okay, there we go. But yeah, if you're at like ninety percent, right, you don't want to pop uh, the five or the four because those give you more than the ten percent that you need. Even here, this is a bit of a waste, but the second phase is the most difficult phase against Null, against Mephisto. I call him Null sometimes. The trauma. But yeah, the, I want to get to the third phase as fast as possible because I think it's way easier. Really, the only dangerous part of this phase is that purple attack. Okay. Big damage here. Nice. Getting him down. Oh. Gotta gotta get away from that. Alright, where where are my circles? Okay, Luna is not fast enough. Alright, we need to Definitely need to switch now. Luna's got skills. She's definitely got pros and cons. And unfortunately her pros do not include running in her dancing shoes. Ooh, that was really close. I am playing this super risky with these um, purple lines. But this camera angle is tripping me out. Pop the tier three. I'm going to keep going with these skills here. Nice. Oh. Oh, we did a little peekaboo action on him. Oh, man, she's so slow. She's so painfully slow. Uh, okay, we're going to need to do, I think, a little bit of damage here with uh, Scarlet. Just a tiny bit here because Luna is waiting to get subbed in. Here we go. Oh, no! Ah, that was really bad on my part. I didn't know he was going to... What? Bro. Luna. Luna! We got it. Two seconds left. Okay, I... <laughs> Okay, that wasn't the greatest gameplay of all time. I mismanaged my tier threes. There were two tier threes that I popped. Second phase, 12 bars. And then just there, third phase, about six bars where I just was not ready for him to do his phase change with the cutscene, which just completely erases, right? As soon as that cutscene happens, your skill stops, the damage stops. So that nail biting finish is definitely not what I'm, I'm actually used to finishing with about 30 seconds left which means she could theoretically go a little bit higher but uh that wasn't the case at all and you know what she can actually go higher because stage 10 only allows you to bring superheroes you see the requirement there is for superheroes so you can actually continue to use this team 
you know, granted you have enough damage and you, ha you know, you can, you can do it, but you can go all the way up to uh, 15 or well, 14. I think at 15, the requirements change something else. But yeah. So with that being said, let me know what you think. Has Luna Snow fallen off? Or is she still one of the best 800 CCF tier threes in the game, given that she can do, you know, world boss ultimate, world boss legend, uh, squad battle, and ABX at a very, very, and DR, well, not DRX, but GBR at a very, very high level. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, look forward to hearing your thoughts and your feedback, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.